Yo, what is up guys? Shonis is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But if you already are, welcome back. Now, I'm pretty excited about this unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing my favorite character from One Piece, Marco the Phoenix. Now you would think I did all these One Piece unboxings, but I never did one of this character before, but... I'm super excited, and we're going to one fourth scale route too with this statue. We're unboxing it by a studio I've never unboxed from before, a licensed company from Soul Wing. So I'm super excited, guys. My favorite character. I really like the art box, by the way, but let's check out more of it. All right, so before we check out outside the styrofoam box, they gave us instructions. I love when the studio gives you instructions. It just makes my life a lot easier. I'm assuming we got a certificate of authenticity there and we got gloves, you guys. So, all right, let's open this thing. So we have a three layer style foam box right here. You guys see all the yellow pieces. See all these blue pieces right here. We got Marco's main body. I don't see any breaks so far. So good packaging by Soul Wing. Check out the base right there. That looks extremely dynamic. So Seeing all of this just excites me so much. One thing that I like about the assembly instructions is that they number all the different pieces in the box so you can tell what you're doing. We're putting the statue together. They even color the numbers differently. So pretty cool by sewing right here. You see the instructions on how we're gonna put it together. So this looks like a lot, but I'm also excited at the same time. All right, YouTube, you guys know what time it is. Glove mode is turned on. And this is what it looks like under the base. It looks like we got number 274 out of 450, the One Piece logo, the toy animation, the sewing logo. And guys, this thing is really heavy, so I gotta put this thing down. So the first piece we're starting off is this explosion looking piece right here. And I like how it has the rocks right there. But what's interesting about this assembly process is that it has the number two right there. They actually put these numbers on the statue also. So they make it that much easier to put it together. Next, we have this yellow piece with the rock on it. There's a lot of yellow pieces, so I'm not gonna go over all of them, but just to give you guys a close-up view of the quality. I believe this one should go under the cannon. All right, next up, so we got the M and A for Marco's name, but we gotta add the rest of the letters, so that's what this next piece is doing, and I just love the blue colors right there with the greenish-yellowish look right there. There's a lot of highlighting of his ability in this statue right here. Ooh, the look of clear resin, it just, it's just beautiful, guys. And I believe this piece goes on the side like that. With this piece right here, this looks like broken pieces of wood. So it looks like a lot of destruction is going on with the base, like they're trying to tell a story. And here it looks like we have some more broken debris right here. This is gonna go towards the bottom of the base. And here we have this gold rusty color looking fish right here. This is gonna go on the base also. So I like the details that I'm seeing so far. So we have a cool piece right here. You can see the rusted gold coloring right there. But when we look at this clear resin, we see purple, we see green, yellow, and some blue also. So the color on this just looks sick. Man, this base is looking super dynamic so far. All right, next up we have this big piece of blue resin right here. This one has multiple magnets on it, so I'm curious about this one. This one's gonna go towards the back. All right, perfect. These aren't the strongest magnets I've ever seen in a statue, but still pretty good. All right, guys, and here is Marco's main body right here. We put on a piece of his belt and give you guys a closer look. It looks like his outfit is a little textured, so I really like that you see the tattoo on his chest. The white beard pirate so this looks dope one fourth scale too so he has a magnet on his foot right here he also has a peg and a hole behind him so he's gonna go in through three different ways to keep him stabilized all right a little challenging but got my boy on all right now we're gonna start working towards the back of the statue we have these two this looking keys right here. It's funny how gentle I'm being with this piece right here. This is a very dynamic statue and it fits in perfectly. Here we have another piece of blue resin with the 
light purple pinkish looking color and I believe that's probably the match with Marco's shirt right there so I like that there reflecting the color off of this resin effect right here and here we have this yellowish gold piece right here that's going to connect to Marco's belt and it's going to connect through here and also a piece right here to prevent any sort of bending of this piece because it does feel pretty fragile all right perfect that thing's not moving all right so we put the second and third one on off camera and these things were the hardest thing to put on this statue so far but they look beautiful now we're going to put this piece on in the back and one thing about this piece is that it reminds me of a battle that you had with one of the admirals and one piece i'm going to talk about that later in my review but it's going to attach this magnet right here we also have one here so two things are keeping this in place youtube I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. And here we have this cement brick-like piece right here. And I love the shading that it has on this side. All right, YouTube, time to get the wings on on this bad boy. So they both have these pegs right here that are gonna go right into his arms. And check out the facial sculpts right here. I love me a nice facial sculpt. This one has his ability. This one's just his face straight up and I just love the details on it. They got the expression on Marco's face just right. So we're gonna start off with this one first. All right guys, we finally got Marco all put together now in Soul Wing Studio. You guys did my favorite character justice right here. I love this statue. When it comes to dimensions, he's at about 24 inches in height, 20 inches in length, 18 inches in width, and this guy weighs 44 pounds. Just to give you guys an idea of how big a one four scale statue is, here's this mega house figure right here. Do you see the size difference between these two right here? What I love about this statue is the dynamic base that we have here. This base here tells the story all by itself. We have explosions, cannons, we have blue flame effects with the clear resin. You see things that look like broken debris just going everywhere. So I'm a huge fan of this base and it looks like they were hinting at some things that happened in the anime too. I'm gonna talk about more when we go in depth, but yeah, I love the dynamic base. This statue was not easy to put together, especially with how ambitious everything is. The assembly instructions made it a lot easier for me. They also gave you this envelope here i'm assuming it's a certificate and i love that they gave you switch out options for the head scope i think they both look beautiful they also give you this coin here so it was just a really premium experience overall now if you guys are watching this unboxing video and you never watch one piece's character is the commander of the white beard pirates that just means he's really strong but what's cool with all this blue fire that he sees that he ate a devil fruit that gave him the ability to turn to this phoenix made out of blue fire. And what's cool about his ability is that he doesn't even have to fully turn into a phoenix. He can turn parts of his body into it. That's why you see the wings in the statue. You see the left leg looking like a phoenix. Even the blue flames on his face. So he's my favorite character. His ability is my favorite in the entire anime. And I think Soul Wing just did an awesome job with this one. If there's one negative thing I can say about the statues, probably when it comes to some of the magnets here, there was about one or two of them that feel really weak, but other than that, I just love everything about this statue and, you know, we got to go more in depth with this thing starting off from the base and I'm working our way up, but, yo, this piece is crazy. Alright, so before we go in depth with this statue, we got to check out this envelope right here. We got the Soul Wing logo right there, the wax seal. Alright, so what's cool is that they give you this little card right here with how the statue looks. Got Marco, Soul Wing, so... This is pretty cool. 
you can probably frame that if you want to put some acrylic glass over it. And here we have the certificate of authenticity right here. And you got the black and gold. I like this silvery color right here. So this feels premium. I said it before, we've got number 274 out of 450. This feels nice. And it looks like it has that matte black sort of finish to it. I don't know if the camera can do it justice, but I really like that. And here we have a quick look at the coin right here. That's the front. The other side, the One Piece logo, Marco and number 274. So starting off with the base right here, I love how it says Marco and the colors match his blue flames. I think that was a nice touch. We see rocks right here with some green shading, the cement bricks, so. The base to me just looks amazing. Everything that's going on here, you see more of the blue flames from Marco's ability. I love this gold rusty look right here. And it's crazy too, I'm not sure if the destruction here is from a pirate ship or a building. We got some oranges colored shading on this cannon right here. Now one thing I might guess about this statue is that maybe Soul Wing was trying to hint at this character fighting off against the admirals because in the back here, it kind of has orange shading here. Maybe it could be magma or it could be coming from this blast. I'm not sure. But yeah, that yellow orange shading all throughout these rocks right here look amazing. I think they were hinting at it because when you come up here, this yellow part looks like Kizaru, one of the Admiral's light abilities. So I'm just guessing guys, but anyways, this thing looks amazing. You see some other broken parts right here. Love the paint job that they did on that. Now we're gonna work our way up to Marco. I thought the engineering on him was good. He's holding on by three different parts, so he's perfectly stable in this statue right here. We see his sandals, we work our way up, and it looks like there's a little bit of veins on his calves too. But when we work our way up, we see some of that flame ability, that clear resin. I like that his Outfit is kind of textured too, the pants. See the phoenix leg right there with the claws on it. So I'm really digging the outfit right here. We have his chest with the white beard tattoo, the pirate crew that he's a part of. And you see all the abs, the muscle definitions. Just see how ripped this guy is. We keep working our way up to the facial scope right here. Now I switched it out to this one here. I think this one looks really good too, but see that grin, that smile he's doing, the way his eyebrows curve up like that. This is exactly how Marco looks like in the anime. I think they did great on him. You see the darker shading between his eyes, some of the wrinkles, the hair. So I am satisfied when it comes to the spatial scope right here. And then we're checking out the blue resin right here from his Phoenix wings. And I think this looks beautiful. I love how it changes color towards the edge of the resin to make it more yellowish, greenish looking. The hardest part about this statue is getting these three yellow parts behind Marco, but let's check out behind him. In this purple outfit, you see wrinkles and shading right there. More the transparent resin from his wings. The yellow resin, probably Kizaru's ability. So the clear resin just looks beautiful. I don't know how much times I'm gonna say that. I love how this greenish part right here, it kind of look like it reflects off of this yellow resin. And for these yellow circular things, you can see how two of them connect to his back right there. Those gave me a lot of struggle. You see some purple, pinkish looking color to reflect off of his outfit right there. So I think Sowing just did so much attention to detail with this statue right here. All right guys, that was my unboxing of Marco the Phoenix by Soul Wing, a one four scale statue from the One Piece anime. And I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.